What is up, guys? Welcome back. Roadhouse here. Got a different episode for you. I, uh, it's too windy outside, so basically decided to just film myself golfing, and I'm gonna talk. A little bit different of a way of doing it this time, but hopefully you enjoy it. Um, give you some perspective of what I'm looking at here and how I'm feeling it. So, today I'm playing with my Giga Golf Irons. These are the TRX Irons. Um, actually been enjoying these quite a bit. Um, I've been playing with some other ping irons as well. You've seen me with the coppers. I also had a ping of ping eye irons, the newer set that came out like 2016. And I also played the other day with some Adams Idea Tech A4s. Um, but I gotta tell you, I like these probably more than I like uh, I like the Giga Golf Clubs. Not gonna lie, more than I do the ping irons. Kind of weird. Sorry for a few of these crappy shots. The uh, uh, the golf ball tracer was acting a little weird. Uh, not easy to make it either with the putts, so I kind of manually make all these, but uh, here's what's going on. So, got a nice like little 10 foot putt here. And you can see the golf tracer doesn't really want to go with it. Just missed it though. Putting got a little bit better this day, but kind of been off the past few days, so we'll see what happens. Now for me, I think where I'm struggling and what you should probably do while you're out on the golf course is maybe visualize your shot a little more. I just kind of step up and hit it. Um, so I need to work on that, but it's something I've been kind of struggling with here lately. I don't know. Boom, nailed that one down though. That was one of my better drives of the day and actually turned out pretty good. Uh, but again, just super windy out there and it just, it was hard to make good contact with the ball. I felt a little off. My, my uh, grip and stance were kind of weird. You'll see something here that really just throws me off on this shot. I'm going up for my second shot here, about 95 yards out, and then that leaf is blowing in the wind. And instead of just waiting to hit, I decided to keep going with it, and it just jacked off the side of that hill. Fun shot here. I actually got a tree above me, so I have to keep it kind of low. Take a few nice little practice swings. There we go. Get it in my head. Visualizing the shot. Uh, something you should do as well. Doesn't always go as planned, but you know what? This one turned out okay. Not the best. As you can see, I didn't make it quite up to the green. I thought I had uh, more room there, but I didn't. Now I decide I'm going to try to put it out of the rough. Hard to do. Probably should have used an 8 iron here. Actually wasn't a terrible putt. Believe it or not. That's just me, though. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, let me know. Uh, comment, like, share. Uh, if you could also subscribe to the channel, that would be great. So one thing, um, if you like these kind of videos, let me know. I can do just more golf videos of me just golfing. Comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Or if you like that I'm doing the whole uh, finance fairways where I'm talking about my debt and uh, business ideas and just having conversation on the golf course, uh, we can make it happen. There's a nice little shot, had a nice little draw to it, gave me a good look here at the green. About 135 yards out now, I uh, grabbed the 8 iron. And I actually chunked it a little bit, but you know what? It still turned out pretty good from where I was at, especially for chunking it. So, rolled up just to the edge of the green there. I'm looking at my, like, Squatting behind the ball there, I'm just looking to see what the read of the green is. Uh, for those of you that may not know, I don't know how new you are to golf, but thanks for tuning in anyways and getting a little idea of how I play. On average, I'm kind of a bogey golfer anyways. I have a 12, a little over 12 handicap. Sometimes it's around 13. Um, but we're early in the year, still trying to dial in on my putting and chipping and things like that. But um, So you'll see I three-putt a couple of these where I should have parred or you know some of them I should have birdied, honestly, and I, I just three putted and ruined it for the day so it happens to the best of us might get angry or you know ticked off for a shot and then just let it go and move on to the next one that's all you gotta do no biggie just remember though if you kind of lose it on the golf course you're gonna lose your game so you know try to stay as positive as possible out there right here uh, there's a guy over to the right as you can see he just totally jacked up his shot and this guy on the left's waiting for him to come over and so I'm trying to decide what the heck that dude's doing because he just got out of his cart and started swinging his clubs. And I just wave him over. 
And I don't know what it is. Whenever there's people around me like this and I hit, I somehow end up hitting the best shot of the day <laughs> where most people are kind of the opposite. But uh, absolutely crank this drive here. And then I smoked that tree. <laughs> it came back about 20 yards. So in this shot here, I was wanting to fade it on the left side of the tree and get it back in the fairway. Boom, I kind of stepped back because I thought I was going to hit the tree. It actually ended up turning out to be a decent shot. It stayed right at the tree and then kind of curled back. Surprising, but scared the crap out of me. Now I'm about 95 yards out and I'm on the opposite fairway of where I should be. I'm actually on hole 12's fairway. But I got a good look at the green from here. And I actually flushed that shot. It felt great coming off the club face. Uh, which the bad thing was I wasn't expecting to do that and I sailed it to the back side of the green there Now I got a nice like 40 foot putt here And of course I sailed it by the hole Didn't mean to do that, but here we are three putting just short, that one was a tap in, boom, pick it up, on my way. Move on to the next hole. Didn't let it bother me too much, that's what you gotta do if you're kind of playing bad, just just move on to the next one. So I didn't do a full nine here, but from the videos I'm playing, I'm four over right now, I think I ended up shooting a 45 for the day, uh, which on standard 45 to about 41 is my average score. And you know Roadhouse loves the trees. Here, a nice ding off the tree there. I absolutely smoked it. And again, it bounced back like 20, 30 yards from that. So just kind of a bit of a rough day. Now I got the ball below my feet, which is even tougher. And I just kind of sailed it across the green. I pulled out my 8-iron here. I've been using my 8-iron a lot whenever I'm close to the green side like this. It's actually better uh, than using a lob wedge. Don't ever go for your lofted wedge if you have a flat surface like that. Actually, using the 8-iron will cause it to give it a little bit of loft and kind of tow it and stand over it and use it like a putter almost. Pop it up over the rough and then it just rolls out on the green. It makes for a lot more accurate shots. Whereas if you have to loft wedge, you know, any kind of lofted wedge, you're going to possibly just sky it or you're going to just sail it and hit it thin and you're going to ruin the day there. So <laughs> don't do that. This is a blind hole 18. It's actually an uphill shot. I hit it pretty low, but it actually worked out in my favor because I made it over that hill right there. And then it caught the front side and bounced it forward. So on my second shot here, I'm still about 200 yards out. I can't hit irons very long, so I got my 5-iron out hoping to just kind of put it close down there. actually hit it pretty decent there. It was a little bit thin for my liking, but had a nice drawback right to the hole. As you can see, I'm still about 20 yards out, but it wasn't terrible, so I was actually pretty happy with the turnout of that shot. I've been working on a new technique for my chipping. If you want to see a technique video on that, let me know. I can make it for you. I'd be happy to do it. It's actually worked wonders for me, and my chipping's got a lot better the past couple of weeks, so pretty happy to keep doing it and perfecting it. And hit it just past the flag there, and it kind of rolled to the back side of the green, which the flag was toward the back anyways. Um, these greens here, though, are super fast. They're rolled four times. Just for perspective, average greens are rolled one to two times. This is rolled two more times than that, so these are super fast greens. It's like putting on a linoleum floor. Absolute horrendous little chip shot there. So now i got still like another you know eight-foot putt right here. I let it get in my head a little bit, so just remember, stay calm. What's going on, guys? Thank you for watching that video. I appreciate it. I know it was a little bit different than what it normally is. Say hi to my dog, Izzy. We're just lounging now, relaxing the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, no, that was a, a different type of video. It was a little too windy on and off for me to be able to uh, 
talk while I was out there to the camera and not have it sound staticky. So I wanted to do that and just get some content out there for you so that we have something to watch. And hopefully you enjoy that. If you do enjoy those kind of videos, if you want to see more uh, golf-related topics versus uh, you know me talking about financials or personal finance or money or business ideas or you know personal life stuff, whatever it may be, uh, and you want to see more golf stuff, just let me know. I'd be happy to uh, do a few of those films uh, to where that way you have an idea of it. But looking to just switch it up, do something different while we're out here, and uh, hopefully you find these enjoyable. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun while I'm out there, so uh, just let me know what you want. As long as I get to play golf, I'm happy. So I'll be out there every day that I can, that I'm not working already at the golf course, uh, filming videos, just golfing, having a good time, enjoying life, loving it. We're in spring. Weather's good. We're hitting the 70s now daily. It's supposed to be like 70 every single day this week and sunny. I love it. So hopefully you're loving this. Remember, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. and Hit that bell notification. So that way, every time I post a video, you know I can put it in the algorithm. And then that way, more people can find my videos and hopefully enjoy these as much as I'm enjoying them. And hopefully you are enjoying them as well. Share it with your friends if you got to. Help a brother out. All right, have a good one, guys.